my name's Peter Scott. I am the Chief Executive of Enable Scotland. And Enable Scotland is a charity that works with people who have a learning disability. About nine out of every ten people who have a learning disability get bullied and, and get harassed. And when something's happening that often, it happens in all kinds of different ways. So sometimes people get called names, or sometimes people can get things thrown at them. Sometimes uh, people can get horrible things put through their letterbox, for example. And sometimes it could be more serious than that. And, and as you know, sometimes people can face physical abuse and assault. We know that harassment of people with disabilities is underreported, so it happens much more often than gets reported to, for example, the police. And if the authorities don't know how prevalent, how often it happens, then it makes it harder for them to take it really seriously. Unfortunately, uh, bullying seems a part of life, um, and it's a part of life that people can grow through and get stronger. Um, but it's a part of life that if people don't handle it, people can, can buckle and it can destroy you and get, get you really upset and can damage people. The first thing we need to do is try and encourage people who experience bullying or harassment to report it to the right people. So what would I say to, to help people? I would say first of all to them, if you've been bullied, I would say, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Um, the problem lies in the bully. So, I would say, tell them to go away and grow up. Tell them to go away and act sensibly. You know, go away and don't bother me. I would say that to them. Um, but sometimes that's easier said than done. The very first thing we should look at is education. Um, education of, of young people starting from the very earliest years, both nursery and primary school, uh, where, where young people can be spoken to and uh, things explained to them about uh, how there are many, many different types of people in our society from all different walks of life, and that we can uh, educate our children to grow up and understand what equal opportunities and what equality really means. I think we need to make sure that the person has been bullied knows that they're not at fault and in fact they need to know that they value themselves. I think the important thing is for everyone who's been bullied is to stand up, is to stand up to bullies and call their bluff. We, we think that people with with learning disabilities should integrate into the mainstream education system as much as possible. More integration at that level actually makes everyone more aware of learning disability and, and really kids stop actually seeing the disability and, and focus on the person. They were call me all the loonies of the day and call me all the spastics of the day and the mongo and saying I had a face like an alien. So basically it's frightening because I'll not open my mouth and say that it's annoying me. I just let them do what they want to do. I'm frightened to stand up to them. Why did you make My Life the first film? Uh, because people don't behave, uh, they don't behave towards people with learning disabilities, they like to bully them. And I think it's sad. Cans, cans are just thrown over you, you're getting bottles of water thrown over you, you're getting water balloons thrown over you. When it's the height of summer, I had an occasion with three girls just a good few weeks ago. They made absolute fool of me. They were, the whole bus was full and nobody came to my defence. It 
Peter McMahon, we've seen your film, My Life. It's a really strong and, and moving film. In the film, you talk about the girls in the bus um, making fun of you. Why do you think people bully you? Uh, I just think um, people with learning disabilities are target at times. But so far, so good, it's changed a wee bit. People, it's not as bad as it was. I think using films like My Life in schools is a really positive thing um, and should be encouraged. Um, I think awareness of anybody with a disability and disability issues, the earlier that we start with young people, the less stigma there tends to be as young people grow into young adults and then adults. They can often be seen as an easy target uh, because they're vulnerable or because they're deemed as being different from other people. Uh, and that can be verbal bullying to shouting, abuse, spit, spat on, uh, physical bullying or just, uh, damage to their property, things like that. Now the thing about a bully is a bully will only bully you if you let them. But if you actually confront a bully, a bully will back down. Nine out of ten times bullies are cowards. They're cowards, the only dating groups. You'll never see a Billy Billy new one on one. The main reason why I made this film is because that was the first film and that was after the incident on the bus. The whole bus was full and one of them shoved me up against the windows and our two park friends I thought it was funny and after that event I then closed myself in my house for four weeks I didn't do anything I didn't even go to my local writers group I didn't even go to Silver Birch I didn't even go to the swimming club I just felt as if it was, it, it was, it shocked me because nobody came to mind, uh, my defence. The whole bus was full, no one came to help me. It doesn't matter who you are, there are times in your life when you can't cope. There are times in your life that you find a, a real struggle to go on. So as, as, if, if you're affected because of a bereavement, or if you're affected because you're sad or anything else, is, that a, is, is there a difference there from someone who isn't able to walk? They just need extra support at that time in their life. Um, and we need to treat each other with tolerance, but we also need to help each other.